subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for ClickSense Business Analyst. So let's get started. Question number 1, what do you know about ClickSense? Your answer is, ClickSense is, after all, a data analysis platform. ClickSense assists us in evaluating data and producing our own data discoveries. This allows us to exchange information and analyze data in groups and across businesses, allowing you and your colleagues to make choices together. It also allows you to ask and answer your own questions, as well as take your own unique routes to knowledge. Question number 2, what is the use of app model? Your answer is, instead of installing and administering huge corporate systems, we may leverage the app paradigm to create our own ClickSense apps that can be reused, modified, and shared with others. Furthermore, the app architecture enables us to ask and answer the next issue without having to return to an expert for a new report or visualization. Question number 3, what does QMC stand for? Your answer is, QMC stands for Click Management Console with the help of which we can configure, manage and monitor the ClickSense sites in a simple and intuitive manner. We can also manage access, licenses, and security rules, configure nodes and data source connections, and synchronize the users and content among various other activities and resources. Question number 4, what according to you is the core element of click scalability tools? Your answer is, well, the core element of the click scalability tools has to be the load scenario. This is basically a sequence of actions that are carried out by virtual users, applying a load on our ClickSense Enterprise product deployment. Hence, this allows the measurement of performance. Question number 5, why do we use mapping? Your answer is, mapping is used as an alternative of joining tables, which automates lookup of the values that are associated in a mapping table. Therefore, this can decrease the amount of data to load. Question number 6, define data model viewer. Your answer is, the data model viewer is a holistic view of the data structure of an app. This allows us to view detailed metadata about the tables and fields. Moreover, it enables the creation of dimensions and measures from the data fields. Question number 7, mention the types of visualizations. Your answer is, visualizations can take the type of charts, like bar charts, tables, gauges, pie charts, or tree maps. Each chart type possesses a unique functionality. In the ClickSense Dev Hub, we can make custom objects. ClickSense highlights the items associated with our selections automatically so that we can drill down and filter. Question number 8, what is the logical model? Your answer is, well, the logical model of an app is the conceptual model Insight Advisor uses when creating visualizations. It has been built from the underlying data model of an app. Each app consists of a single logical model. Fields and master items are the basic components of the logical model. They are organized into groups wherein these groups indicate a conceptual relationship between fields or master items. Question number 9, what do you mean by filter pane? Your answer is, a filter pane is used to control what data is represented in the visualizations on a sheet. It can filter data from several dimensions at the same time. For example, if we have a chart of sales over time, we can use a filter pane to restrict the data in the chart to sales from a specific time period, specific product categories, and a specific area. Question number 10, what do you know about master items? Your answer is, master items are the measures, dimensions, or visualizations which are reused in other visualizations and sheets in an app. Additionally, updating a master item updates every instance of it. This implies that we can have the same measure in four visualizations, and they would update whenever the master item is changed. Question number 11. Define the term intervals. Your answer is, well, intervals are quantitative data that we cannot use to perform arithmetic operations. For instance, we cannot calculate the sum of temperatures during the week. We can, however, determine the average daily temperature as well as the high and low temperatures for each day. Question number 12. What is ClickSense Desktop? Your answer is, ClickSense Desktop is a ClickSense version intended for us to give it a try, and explore ClickSense before actually buying ClickSense or subscribing to its services. The apps generated in ClickSense Desktop may simply be exported, and utilized in the full version of ClickSense, 
or by having another user install ClickSense Desktop. Question number 13. What is the SSE Protocol Repository? Your answer is. The SSE Protocol Repository refers to the server-side extension protocol repository, that is an open-source repository maintained and supported by Click. It lets us extend ClickSense, with the help of an analytic connection, with functionality from external calculation engines. Furthermore, we may utilize external calculation engines from both load script and chart expressions. Question number 14. When do we use timestamp values? Your answer is. Well, the date fields can fill up space when the timestamp is present through having bigger values, and unnecessary distinctions from distinct timestamp values. In case the timestamp is not necessary for analysis, we can remove it. However, if there's a need for a timestamp then we can decouple it from the date itself. Question number 15. What is an Insight Advisor? Your answer is. Inside Advisor makes use of a logical model based on learned precedents, in order to determine which are the fields of interest for insights. We can define our own logical model for our apps with business logic. Moreover, Inside Advisor relies on the Click Cognitive Engine, and learned precedents in order to analyze the relationships and uses of fields in a data model. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.